just getting up from my nap. Fuck it. My lawyers are going to have to be mad at me. Hopefully they won't be. Because what I'm about to say... Let me tell you something. I'm not going to be silent. Meaning, I'm not about to just disappear from social media. I'm not going to keep being safely surveilled in my house 24 hours a day, seven days a week, only allowed to leave to go get coffee because some stupid fucking criminal on state probation and federal parole wanted to be a minion, okay? Furthermore, y'all gotta stay the fuck up out of my DMs with these death wishes and the RIP with the prayer hands. Let me tell you how stupid this is. And leave me alone talking about, oh, this is what you get. You should have minded your business. You shouldn't have put your two cents where it didn't belong. Do you guys realize that if everybody minded their business, number one, we wouldn't have news channels. We wouldn't have blog sites. We wouldn't have a TMZ. We wouldn't have all these things that we have now. Okay? For, number two, we'd all still be reading a fucking newspaper. Number three. I've sent my legal team so many screenshots and I've asked, hey, can you look into it? See if this person was threatened. This, they were like, girl, if we did that, we would be here for years to come. So no more of this. Oh, you should have minded your business. How? Just listen to yourselves. Listen to yourselves. Two grown people got spotted by TMZ. Okay, so I was a little shady in what I said about one party. I wasn't shady at all in what I said about the other party. I didn't say anything that wasn't already out there. What do you mean? Oh, this is what you get. You should have minded your business. So every one of you that are in my DMs with a death wish and a RIP message with a fucking prayer hand talking about I shouldn't have minded I should have minded my business and I should have put shouldn't have put my two cents where aren't you all hypocrites? Because every time I make a blog for anything, good or bad, y'all all got a fucking opinion. Stupid ass Rico love talking about sometimes minding your business is just healthy. Well, sir, shut the fuck up then. Because it doesn't look like you're minding your business. You're in the comments minding mine. Does that give me the right to send a, a criminal or a minion to your phone to threaten your life and your children's lives if you have any and your, your family's lives? Do you guys, do you guys hear yourselves? Do you see yourselves typing? How does that make any fucking logical sense? And when someone wrongs you, by the way, that does make you a victim. Y'all label me a victim. I don't label myself a victim. Because I come through out on the other end of every scenario, not only vindicated because I didn't lie, but because I was right and because I came with the receipt. So it was okay for me to receive a, the, the type of response or reaction that I did. And let me be very fucking clear. It was not about what was said on Kendra G's live. It was because I had an interview on Tuesday with, with, on gagging with Jason Lee on Hollywood Unlocked. And niggas panicked about what I might have said. And what's crazy is... If that was the concern, you don't call me. You don't send a nigga to call my phone. You understand me? You call my father, who you know, by first name because you worked with him recently. That was the proper way to do things. A nigga calling my phone, period, is a threat. So 
So there, I fucking said it. I've had enough. Stay out my DMs with the fucking RIP. Stay out my DMs with the this is what you get. Because if that's the case, every one of y'all motherfuckers that's been talking shit about my kid and motherhood, I, that gives me the right to send to sick a, a, a goon, a minion, a criminal, a killer who's on parole nonetheless. So at the end of the day, mind your business. If we minded our business, 821 of you would not be in these comments talking to me at this very moment, sharing your unsolicited, unwarranted thoughts, feelings, and opinions like you do on a day-to-day -day basis, right or wrong. No, Melissa, that's where you're fucked up because I didn't talk mess. I didn't talk mess. Y'all got to start learning the motherfucking difference. Melissa, you're to the person who just said that. I don't know you, right? Talking mess would be, I've never met you. I don't know you personally, but I take everything that I've heard about you Put a negative spin on it, hit the gram, and spill your dirty laundry. That is talking mess about some fucking body. But you, Melissa, getting caught by TMZ, you, Melissa, sleeping with an individual who's running their fucking mouths, and it ends up on blogs back in December, and then I don't say anything and so the rest of the world says something because you got caught and put out to the world. That's not talking mess. I have a right to say what I want to say within the realm of what's okay to say. Y'all just don't like me. So I could walk outside today and say the sky is blue. And there could be not a cloud in sight and the sky could be blue. Is that not me minding my business? Oh my God, the same sky that you all saw, I made a comment about. But because you don't like me, and because you want to perceive the sky as whatever you want to perceive it as, you decide to send a goon to call me. Not just call me. Search for me. Through people that they think or know, know me. And then they disguise it like, hey, do you know Melissa? Oh yeah, I just want to holler at her real quick about some business. And then you call me not knowing that you're walking into a whole threatening scenario. Do y'all, do? does that make sense to you? In any way, shape, form, or fashion, does that make sense to you? Make it make sense. Exactly. You can't because it's not sensical. And that's the bottom fucking line. If I do something and I end up on a major blog or on a major news outlet or on a major news me uh, 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 media outlet and y'all decide to say whatever you want to say about it. I shouldn't be sending people to look for you. 
That's first and foremost. But the underlying issue here is accountability. So let me start. I said what the fuck I said. Now, if you don't want a motherfucker to say what the fuck they said, you shouldn't say it to begin with. You, you shouldn't do it to begin with. You shouldn't engage to begin with. If you got too much on the motherfucking line and you're going through a lot and God gave you a second chance at life, you better live right. Think twice before you speak, before you act, before you do, before you go to a restaurant where on the good day, where the world is open and functioning. And there's no shortage of celebrity gossip. The media is waiting outside of Boa on sunset. You don't go there. When there's a shortage of celebrity gossip and things are just starting to work out and they're grasping and they're looking for anything. And there's not even so much as a valet tent on the curb that we could see in what was put out to millions of people. You should have gone through the back fucking door. You should have kept driving when you saw TMZ outside with the flashed and lights. If you didn't want anyone to say any fucking thing, if you had too much on the line, if it's your duty and your duty alone to protect yourself, your assets, your bitches, whatever the fuck you got going on, don't got going on. That's not my responsibility. I don't have to think twice before I comment on what is public. So it ain't no fuck me. This is what you get. Should have minded your business. Shouldn't have put your two cents in. Because if y'all motherfuckers knew how to mind your motherfucking business, you wouldn't be right here right now. In these comments. Bottom fucking line. So no, I'm not keeping my two fucking cents, 50 cents, 100 cents, 150 fucking cents. Bottom fucking line. Y'all don't like me? Then stay off my shit. The next time a blog has something to say about me, don't comment. Because that's you not minding your business. Next time I post on my page and you don't even fucking follow me, but you see me on a blog, don't come to my comment section. Mind your business. You don't like me? Stay out of my DMs with your, your shit. Mind your business. Keep your opinion to yourself. Right? Mind your business, everybody. Go away. Log off of my live. Skit, skedaddle, scram, beat it. Go do something productive with your time. Right? Go mind your business. And I don't give a fuck what blog decides to mind my business, Jerome. After this, I've had enough. The next time your favorite artist puts out a record, your favorite actor shows up in a movie, your favorite celebrity crush shows up on a front page magazine with a six page spread, don't buy it. Don't repost it. And when they make it to TMZ and Wendy Williams and Shade Room and Baller Alert and Media Takeout and Gossip of the City and Hollywood Unlocked and Jason Lee's on page and everywhere else, don't comment. Don't big it up. Because that's not you minding your business. 
That person on an international motherfucking magazine cover, Harper's Bazaar, Vogue, you better not say nothing. You better mind your business. You better not go to the fucking uh, liquor store, Rite Aid, anywhere they sell that magazine looking for it. You better not ask that cashier, hey, have you seen this publication? You better mind your business. Don't you do that. The next time your favorite celebrity or somebody that you admire has a baby and it ends up in the meat, don't you say anything about it. Don't you say that baby is cute. You mind your business. Don't you give an opinion on how adorable that baby is. You better mind your business. You better the next time I go live and my son is running around, you better not say anything. You better look, don't say. Genesis 1-1, mind your business. Look, but don't, don't talk. Genesis, Momo 1, Nigelations 1-1, mind your business. Yeah, you see my son running around here and I'm live for people to see where they're supposed to be able to comment, but don't, you look at them. Don't say nothing about it, just mind your business. Next time I'm on live and I'm cooking, or I'm singing with, with whoever or whatever it is I'm doing. Sounding crazy, sounding good, whatever it is. You want to know the recipe? Don't ask me. Mind your business. I'm cooking for you online, but mind your business. Oop, I fucked up on a note, but you don't say nothing. Mind your business. Ooh, I sounded great. I hit that, but don't say nothing. Mind your business. You mind your business. When you see me out and about in the street, don't talk to me. Don't tell me how much you you admired my fight on loving him. You mind your business. That's not your business. I went on reality TV, but don't you say anything about that scene that you saw or how you relate to me or how you you can uh, you went through something similar uh, to what I went through after I had my son and you were at odds and I inspired you and I encouraged you and I helped you and you admire how I speak out about mental health and how I'm candid about my own diagnoses and my courses of action and treatment plans hoping that that would touch somebody don't say that to me you mind your business I put that out there for the world to see but don't you don't you do it you mind you see me you keep on trekking now you mind your business You see me in church trying to catch the Holy Spirit. You don't come up to me and tell me how good, how you think it's so good that I'm back in the house of the Lord and this is where I should be and I should stay focused and God bless me. Don't you bless me. You mind your business. When they pass the collection plate around and I put more than 10% in there and you want to tell me how admirable that is, you don't do, do, do you mind your business. And the next time one of your favorites gets on OnlyFans and shows you some dick, shows you some titty, shows you some ass, shows you some new music, you, I don't know how OnlyFans works, but if it's a comment section, you bet not, you bet mine, Joe Business. Uh, they charging you for that subscription and for you to be able to give your opinions, but don't you do it. I don't give a damn if you like it, you mind your business. Don't you go signing up for no kind of virtual workouts or nothing like that. And when they give you that workout, you better not say how you feel it that you mind your business. Don't do that. Don't go to a restaurant and order some shit and have no questions. You better not have no questions. It's a menu right there. Because you got any questions, you're not minding your business. You not listening, you not paying attention, you not minding, bitch, you should have read the menu. Now you want to ask me questions. And don't let the server answer, because let the server answer, that server's not minding their business. Bitch, don't tip them. You asked a question, they gave you the answer, but you didn't like the answer. You didn't like the way they answered. Lord have mercy, they not worth the tip, they not minding their business. Matter of fact, they minding your business. What you about to eat. How you like your steak cooked. That's not right. They not minding their business. Oh my God. Make sure you track them down outside of work. Make sure you go find their dad. Find their kids. 
find their husband, their boyfriend, their fiance. Damn near start, start a street war. Because that motherfucker didn't mind their business. Now it's a menu. And it's given to every patron that walks into that fucking restaurant. And you had the nerve to sit down in this restaurant and ask that server a question. They had the nerve to answer back about your business. That's your dinner. That's your money that you're about to use to pay the bill and leave a tip. Or not leave a tip. They not minding their business. They answered your question. That's crazy about them. Don't leave no tip. They didn't mind their business. You hear how fucking stupid that sounds? You hear how dumb that sounds? Can you get any dumber dummy? Huh? Do it get any dumber? Woo! Oh my God. Allegedly, Carucci and Victor broke up and I heard the rumors swirling before it happened, but then it ended up on the block. Oh my God. And I don't know that man. And I only crossed paths with that woman a couple times and she was the sweetest thing. And she is so cute. Now we all saw what she went through before that. But let's not say anything about that. We can't say we want, uh, she's one of America's sweethearts. We can't say we want her to be happy. And we can't say, damn, hope that ended on good terms. Man, I want to see her continue to shine. I want to see her continue to, oop, hold up now. I got to mind my business. I'm not minding my business. 